He is one of the world's top astronomy photographers. His incredible pictures of New Zealand's night skies have won him a host of international awards, including the prestigious Royal Observatory Photographer of the Year. Joining us from Wellington, we welcome Mark G. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Jeanette. How are you? Oh, I am so well. I'm really glad to be talking to you. You do some amazing things. I want to kick it off with the full moon silhouettes. Sure. It's got a really cool story behind it. Tell me yeah. in a nutshell what happened. Yeah, well, basically, I, I saw the moon rising over the Mount Victoria lookout back in 2012, yep. and I thought that would be really cool to capture as a video. And I spent the whole year um, trying to capture that video, you know, running around Courtney Place and everything with a big camera and, and just getting a lot of fails and, you know, bad weather. And, and finally, about a year later, in January 2013, I managed to actually capture this video and nail it. Uh -huh. And it was, it was pretty incredible, um, and I was, you know, really happy when I did capture it. I bet. And it's not it's 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 not a um, a time lapse or anything. That is real time, isn't it? That is that is exactly it. It's it's real time. A lot of people think it's a time lapse, but that's yeah. how fast the moon rises. And and four and a half million people have seen that video. So what happened? Because you, you took it, you went home, you did your little bits of editing or whatever you needed to do, you posted it, you yep. wake up in the morning Thousands of emails. Yeah, thousands of emails. There's emails from media wanting interviews and, you know, there's scientists even and astronomers. Um, but the, the really cool thing was all these emails just from re ordinary people and, and they just emailed me to thank me for the video. And, and I couldn't work out why you're thanking me for this video. But it, there's some great stories in there and, um, you know, some real humbling stories as well. Um, I had this terminally ill woman um, from the UK and she emailed me and she said, Watching that video has made me, you know, want to hang on to life for a couple of oh. more days just so I can spend more time with my family. And, you know, that really took me back. I just thought, how do you respond to something like that? So tell me what it is that you actually do. I mean, I mean, I know you, you work for Weta by day. Yep. And this is kind of like, well, hopefully I, I would imagine it's the dream to have it, have it full time. But what, what is it that you're actually, you're out at night, you're photographing the sky. What are you hoping to achieve? Yeah, well, you know, it, it started off, you know, I've come from New Zealand from Australia and, and it was pretty light polluted over there in Australia and I've never really seen the night sky as I have in New Zealand. And when I got here to New Zealand, I thought, my God, this night sky is amazing. How do I photograph it? Yeah. And, and that's when I sort of started looking online and, and the internet and trying to work it out myself and, and got some help from people online. And it just became addictive. And I, I just got out there as much as possible and, and just took photos of the night sky. You know, you, you go out there and, and it's just incredible just being underneath it. What's your favourite thing to photograph in, in terms of, the, like, is it the Milky Way? Is it? I yeah, know. yeah, sure. Well, in a lot of these photos that you're seeing now, you see the bright core of the Milky Way. That's actually the galactic centre of our Milky Way. And that's 27,000 light years from Earth. And to, to photograph that is pretty incredible. So, so, so just so in layman's terms, what does that mean? It's 27 light years from Earth. So the light that you are seeing... 27,000. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 27,000. So yeah. the light that you are seeing happened that... 27,000 years ago. So, oh, my gosh. So what, what if, if you're looking at the, the galactic or the Milky Way of your naked eye, which you can yeah. in a dark enough environment, um, the light from that core left back in the Stone Age period here on Earth, basically. That's insane. Yeah. It, it must, I mean, you more than anyone, you, you, you must spend time considering your place and your significance or insignificance. Insignificance, hey. exactly. Yes, absolutely. Oh, my goodness. Uh, impossible to get your head around in a way, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's it's quite it's quite yeah, mind boggling. Self taught, are you? Yes, I am. Yeah. Um, basically, photography from school. Um, yep. Grew up on the Gold Coast. Um, went into surf photography, and then when I got here, there was not much surf in Wellington, so I turned to the <laughs> night skies. You must like your own company. I would imagine that it's quite a solitary thing, and there would be a heck of a lot of patience required. Yeah, patience. It's it's probably the most frustrating form of photography there is. Because of that? The, yeah, because of the weather and, and, you know, you set up for a shot and all of a sudden the clouds come in and, yeah, there, there's just so many variables that can go wrong. You, I mentioned that you, um, you work for, for Weta. What is it that you do there? Um, I'm a supervisor at Weta, okay. um, so supervise the visual effects. Yeah. So is it kind of, they, they complement each other, the two sort of areas? Yeah, they, way? they definitely do. You yeah. know, the, te the techniques that, you know, use in camera, taking photos in the night sky, yep. you know, conveys into the, the visual effects world as well. And, and tell me too about the workshops that you're teaching. 
Yeah, yeah. So a lot of people, when I posted all these these images online, a lot of people came to me and said, "Hey, hey, can you teach me how to, you know, take photos in the night sky yourself?" And I said, "Yeah, sure." So I started doing a couple of workshops um, with a Christchurch photographer, Rob Dickinson. Yeah. And um, then you know I started doing some more on my own, and and we had an incredible response. Um, I recently did a workshop in um, Wellington. Uh, for International Dark Sky Week, and I put a you know, Facebook event page up, and I had 500 people signing up to wow. this event. And I thought, oh my God, how how's this going to turn out? And we had like 300 people turn up on the night, which that, was incredible. That is so cool. Do you worry that there's a whole new generation coming through that are looking down a whole lot more than they're looking up? That yeah, exactly. And and that's that's the whole point of my photos. I, I love to get them out there on the social networks to to get people mm -hmm. to actually think about it and look up. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, because there just seems to be too many other things that can take, you know, teenagers' attentions, young people's attentions, because it's what they seem to know these days. So yeah, good exactly. on you for making a difference. I love your photos. Thank you so much for spending time with us this morning. No problems, Jeanette. Cool. All the very best. Thank you. If you would like to see more of Mark's amazing work or find out about his workshops, just head to our website for links to his website and social media pages. Coming up, there's stargazing of a different kind.